Hey everyone, my name is Brian Matias. I'm a travel and landscape photographer, as well as a Sony artisan of imagery. And what I'd like to do in this video is show you uh, the gear that I use for a typical day shoot or an overnight shoot, uh, typically here in the Pacific Northwest, whether I'm in the Columbia River Gorge or heading to the coast or up in Washington, this is the gear uh, that I'll take. Uh, most likely I'm car camping, so, and I'm close to home. So it's really not uh, something that requires a, a lot of extensive gear. And I wanted to lay it out for you uh, the way that I use it. This is essentially what I pack every time. And so I'm gonna go over the camera, the lenses, and then some of the accessories that I think are really handy for my kind of landscape work. So the first thing that I wanna show you is the camera. So this is the Sony a7R Mark II. I actually have two of these cameras. Uh, one is my primary, and I usually only go with one. Um, but when I travel, I take both of them because uh, well, the other one serves as a backup or a secondary camera if I'm taking doing time lapse or videos or stuff like that. Uh, on it though, I have this little L plate uh, made by Really Right Stuff. And Really Right Stuff is the company that makes the tripods that I use. Uh, the, my primary tripod is a, the model is a TVC34L with a BH55 ball head. Uh, it's in the car and it's also massive. So uh, I just wanted to leave it there. The other, I have a, tri a smaller travel tripod that the camera that I'm recording with is on. Uh, also Really Right Stuff. And so just the L plate makes it easy for me to mount um, either horizontally or vertically. Um, but the camera itself is amazing. Uh, in terms of landscape photography, this gives me so many megapixels that uh, I could always just, if I need to crop in because I can't reach far enough with my lens, no problem. Uh, and just all the other uh, technical features of this camera make it ideal for landscape photographers. So that's the camera. Uh, in terms of the lenses, I wanted to keep it simple. And this is typically uh, the three lenses I go out with uh, on a general landscape shoot, and I call these the Holy Trinity. The first one up is the Sony uh, FE 16 to 35 millimeter f4. So this goes at its widest end to 16 millimeters, and then at its longest end to 35. If I were to guess, I'd say 90% of the time this lens is at 16 millimeters. I'm typically shooting really low and close to my subject uh, at its widest uh, angle or focal length, and uh, that allows me to fill the frame and get some really cool distortion, uh, just that kind of long distortion with creating uh, leading lines. So that's a 1635, that's the first lens in the trilogy. The second one is my brand new baby. I just got this lens, I love this lens. I never was a big fan of 2470s. In terms of just like a, a mid-range lens, this gives me what I need for, uh, you know, it goes wide enough and it goes long enough. Uh, so if I don't need to go either longer or wider, I'm using this lens here. And this is my telephoto lens. Uh, the reason why I love this lens is from 70 millimeters to 200, the entire lens does not telescope out when it's zooming. So all of the zooming is done in-house, which is great. Now, there is a new version, a 2.8 version coming out. Sony already announced it. It's coming out next month. I guarantee you I will be getting it and I will be getting the teleconverter for it uh, just because if I can get extra reach, I definitely want it. So that makes up the kind of trinity of lenses uh, that go with the Sony a7R Mark II. And now what I'd like to do is touch on uh, some of the accessories that I use uh, all the time. So I'm gonna start next to my camera, my tripod, uh, my filters are the most important thing to me. So this is a filter holder case. It's uh, the Filter Hive by Mindshift Gear. And I love it because it holds all of the filters that I need. Uh, here's the, this is the kind of filter adapter holder. Oops, it's caught. So that's the filter adapter holder. Uh, and then if I had to, if I had to simply choose um, two filters, just the two filters that I always, always have to have, without a doubt, the number one filter that I always must have is a circular polarizer. Uh, this is a Format High Tech circular polarizer. Uh, all the filters I use are made by Format High Tech. This is 105 millimeter uh, threading, so it fits on the front of the adapter ring. And then uh, you connect that, the holder, to the lens. And then the other one that I would just go with is a simple three-stop. Um, 
I, I say the three stop is a really nice versatile uh, filter. It gives me the effect that I go for uh, when I'm shooting waterfalls or streams in the gorge. And when you combine a three stop with a circular polarizer, your circular polarizer, depending on which one you have, usually will give you somewhere between one and a half and two stops of light loss. So you're getting upwards of about five stops of light loss with these two filters, which in most cases, unless you're shooting in like brightest, brightest, like afternoon sun conditions, will give you what you need uh, to basically get the shot that you want and expose properly. Um, now touching on some of the more common accessories, uh, batteries and SD cards. So the Sony A7 series uses these batteries here. It's the um, NPFW50 series batteries. I have about, about 10 of them. And I, and this is just me saying it totally straight up, I only buy Sony batteries because I've had the worst luck with third party batteries. And so I strongly recommend, you know, it will cost a little bit more, but it's totally worth it. It holds the charge. Um, it'll recharge more and it'll hold a charge more consistently in my experience. And then um, just these uh, SD cards. This is a 128 gigabyte card. I buy now 64s and 128s because I've been, doing, I've been recording a lot of 4K video in the field and 4K crushes data. So I use these. Also, pretty common, uh, a wired shutter cable. Uh, I love this thing. I have several of them. Uh, these are the Sony ones. Uh, and I use these religiously because uh, I don't want to touch my camera when I am shooting. But don't worry if you don't have one of these, you can always just set your camera to a two second delay and uh, that'll give you kind of the same result as having a wired shutter except you just have to wait two more seconds. Um, then here's one. I don't know how often these get uh, brought up but this is a little pack of silica gels. And a friend of mine turned me on to them. You can buy these in bulk on Amazon. And what I do is I keep a bunch of them in my bag because where the climate and atmosphere that I photograph in uh, frequently, I get tons of spray and it rains a lot. And so uh, I do my best to kind of dry the camera before I put it away, but these little bags absorb moisture and they're reusable. You can actually just put them in the microwave and um, use them again. So. It's just a great thing to have, just to so soak up any moisture. Um, and then this is a multi-tool made by Really Right Stuff. This goes with me absolutely everywhere. And I'll misplace it every now and then, and I go nuts looking for it. Basically, it's, it looks like a screwdriver, but you can remove the, this little housing over here, and you have a bunch of different bits. And what's great here is if your tripod leg, say, gets loose in the field, you have the necessary bits to retighten it. And you also have your standard Phillips and flathead screwdriver bits. So just one of those things I absolutely love. This thing is, goes with me absolutely everywhere. Um, now, a lot of times I'll have my camera set up on a tripod and I'll be shooting and I'll wanna take some behind the scenes videos or photos. And I use two different pieces of technology for that. Uh, a lot of times I'm taking my RX100 Mark IV by Sony. This is especially useful if I want to get, you know, like nice 4K video or if I want to record myself because the LCD articulates completely upward so I can see myself. And that's, well, not narcissistic, but it's important for me to correctly frame myself in the shot. So the RX100 will go with me. I've also been using my iPhone a lot more. Um, here's my iPhone. I just use a iPhone 6s Plus. This records 4K video as well, but I just got this recently, um, and it's a motorized uh, stabilizer gimbal made for you know uh, action cams and, and mobile phones. It's made by iCam, uh, and it's the Fly X3 Plus. So basically, you put the um, the phone. One second. There, there. You put the phone in this bracket here and you just kind of hold it and it'll keep everything perfectly still. So this is a really nice thing to have um, if, you, if you're gonna be walking around. So a lot of times I'll walk through uh, you know, a, a forested path, uh, talking to the camera or just trying to get some cool panning shots. This thing helps me a lot just to keep the footage stable instead of just holding the, the phone with two hands. So I think I covered everything here. This is essentially um, the, the gear that I'll pack in my bag, uh, whenever I head out, you know, if I'm just going on a day shoot, this covers 
from 16 millimeters to 200 millimeters. I've got my filters. I've got more resolution than I could possibly ask for in this camera. And I've got all the kind of power needs and storage space needs that any photographer could ask for. The last thing you want to do is run out of power or storage if you're shooting. So I hope uh, this kind of gives you some insights and ideas into uh, you know what you should pack for your trips. Uh, and uh, I look forward to the next video. Thanks everyone.